Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about hypotheses involving a population proportion, like the probability of success in a binomial random variable, or when we talked about the fraction of defective chips in example one in this module. So basically, the hypotheses we can have involving a proportion would be basically the left-tailed alternative, the right-tailed alternative, or the two-tailed alternative. So we might have the null hypothesis that the population proportion is less than or equal to an amount P0. The alternative is that it's greater than P0. That would be the right-tailed test. We might have the null hypothesis be that the probability, sorry, I messed that up. Let's start over. Just do yeah. it. We need to start over? Yeah, it's just easier. Are you ready to go? Yeah, sure. All right, we're going to go in three. In this video, we'll discuss hypotheses involving a population proportion, like the probability of success in a binomial random variable. So there are three types of hypotheses we can have. We can have a right-tailed alternative. The null is that P equals or is less than or equal to P0, a hypothesized value. And the alternative is that P is greater than P0. That's a right-tailed alternative. We could have a left-tailed alternative, that the null hypothesis is that P is greater than or equal to P0 or P equal P0. The alternative is P less than P0. We can also have a two-tailed alternative, that P equals P0 is the null, and P is not equal to P0 would be the two-tailed alternative. And so basically, we set up this spreadsheet that you can easily do your hypothesis test. All you do is put in how many trials are your sample size, how many successes you observed, and then the hypothesized value of the probability of success, and your p-values for each test will be spit out here by the formulas. And basically, if your p-value is less than or equal to alpha, you reject the null. And if your p-value is greater than alpha, you accept the null hypothesis. And that's a theme you will see throughout the rest of this module and throughout the rest of your career studying hypothesis tests. So in the next video, we'll do a specific example of a hypothesis test involving a proportion.